Hello ladies and gentlemen, in today's video I'll show you how you can create this video intro in PowerPoint. The style of this intro was inspired by the MKB HD. Let's go! Before we get started, I want to say huge thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and supporting OneSkill channel. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions and get lost in creativity. You can learn many new skills such as animation, design, illustration and many more. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. I have recently finished watching a Skillshare class by Marcus Brownlee, YouTube success, script shoot and edit with MKB HD. And it was really interesting to see how one of the biggest tech YouTubers plans, shoots and edits his videos. One of the ideas he shared is that the first 10 seconds of a video are the most important for video success. And that is why today we will look into the video intro that MKBHD uses and we will do our best to create something similar in PowerPoint. By the way, feel free to check out my PowerPoint classes on Skillshare as well. The first 1000 of my subscribers to click the link in the video description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity and watch my PowerPoint lessons on Skillshare. That's super duper awesome, now let's continue with the video. Alright, so let's jump into PowerPoint and let me show you how we can create this awesome video intro. And as I have mentioned, this video intro has been inspired by the intro that MKBHD uses in his videos. So let's check out his intro. As you can see, we have some dots in the background, we have this kind of pulsing background that looks awesome, and we have a rounded rectangle with a logo in the middle. And of course, our goal is not to completely copy his intro, but to get inspired and create something awesome as well in PowerPoint. So let's uh, start by inserting a fresh blank new slide. And the first step is to find a background picture that we'd like to use. And I think this photo of Black Sand Dunes by Adrian looks awesome. So let's just copy this photo. Link is in the video description if you'd like to use the same photo. And now let's jump back to PowerPoint, right click, choose Format Background and from the Fill Options let's choose Picture and click on Clipboard. And this way we have pasted those black sand dunes as a slide background. And now let me show you how we can create this pulsing background, alright? So for that we'll have to insert some circles, so let me just zoom out. And now let's just go to Insert, Shapes and let's look for Circle. Hold down the Shift key to get a perfect circle. And let's make sure we align it to the center. And we can as well add some transparency so that we can see what's going on behind this circle. Okay, now hold down the Ctrl and Shift key and let's increase the size of this circle so that it goes beyond the slide. Just like that. Now let's duplicate this guy. Let's make sure that the copy is aligned to the center as well. Now let's hold down Ctrl Shift key and decrease the size to something like this. So in the selection pane we should see oval 1 and oval 2, ok. Now let's make one more copy, let's make sure that the copy is aligned to the center, hold down the Ctrl and Shift keys to decrease the circle. Let's make a copy number 4, once again let's make sure it's aligned and let's decrease its size. And let's make a final copy, uh, circle number 5, and let's decrease its size a little bit, just like that. You can insert as many circles as you want, in this tutorial we will go with 5. Ok, so the next step is to add some soft edges to all of these circles and to add some grow shrink animations. So I think we should start with animations and after that we will add some soft edges. So let's select the smallest circle, let's go to animations and let's add a grow shrink animation. Ok, let's open up the animation pane and let's make sure that this grow shrink animation starts with previous for the duration. Let's insert one second and now let's jump to the effect options. And for the size we have 150%, that's good. For the smooth start let's add a half a second. Let's add half a second for smooth end as well. Let's choose auto reverse, we want this animation to reverse, so to grow and to shrink. And for the repetition let's insert two. So we will want these circles to grow and shrink two times in a row, just like that. 
Okay, so the animation has been added to this smallest circle. Now we can double click on the animation painter and paste the same animation to the rest of these circles. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So let's check out the results so far. As you can see, all of these circles are growing and shrinking at the same time. So let's add a little bit of delay for all of these animations. For oval 4, I'm using 0 0.1, oval 3, 0 0.2, oval 2, 0 0.3, and oval 1, 0 0.4. And now let's check out the animations. And as we can see, we have a little bit of delay between all of these circles. That's awesome. Okay, so now we can select while holding down the shift key all of these circles and now let's add some soft edges. Let's go to shape effects, click soft edges and let's choose 50 points. And now a really important step, let's set the fill of all of these circles to slide background fill. Now all of these circles are using the background photo as their fill. Okay, and now we can check out how the animations are looking on the full screen. Now we get this awesome pulsing black sand dunes animation all right so the background is ready and now we can continue with the logo animation now let's go to insert shapes and let's look for rounded rectangle and let's draw a nice rounded rectangle let's make it 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters let's align it to the center of the slide let's remove the outline and for the fill let's use the eyedropper tool and let's pick this dark gray color so our rectangle is not completely black but has this beautiful dark gray color. That's awesome. So the next thing we have to add some shadows to our rectangle. So as you can see we have one white shadow and one black shadow. So this is a similar look that MKBHD has in his intro videos. Okay so let's select the rectangle, let's go to shadow options and let's choose this one called bottom right. For the color let's use black. For the transparency let's use uh, 0%. For the blur, let's insert 80 points, angle 45, and for the distance, let's insert 70 points. And this is how the rectangle looks right now, looking good. Now we have to insert a white shadow at the opposite side. And because we cannot insert two shadows for the same object, we have to duplicate this rectangle. Now let's make sure that we align both of these guys. Alright, so for the second rectangle, let's insert a new angle, 225, so that it sits on the opposite side, that's good. For the color, let's choose white, and let's make this white color less intense by increasing the transparency to 80%. That's looking beautiful. We can jump into the selection pane and rename these rectangles so that we can better see which rectangle is which. Alright, and now is the time to insert your logo. So to save some time, I'll just use the logo I have used in my previous slide. So these are just two text boxes and an icon of a diamond. So let me copy these guys right here. Now let's select the icon, those two text boxes and those two rectangles. And let's group all of these guys into one group. Let's just hit Ctrl G to group. And let's name this group Logo. And now we will have to animate this logo group. So let's make sure we select a logo group. And now let's go to animations and let's look for zoom entrance animation. Okay, here it is. Let's bring it upwards. Let's make sure it starts with previous. And for the duration, let's add 0 0.7 seconds. You can experiment with different durations. I think 0 0.7 looks nice. Alright, so this is how the animations look so far. So now all that's left to do is to add a exit animation to this logo group. So let's add one more animation and this time let's look for exit zoom animation. Let's bring it up as well. Let's make sure it starts with previous duration 0 0.7 seconds. And for the delay, let's add 3.3 seconds. So first of all, we have the zoom entrance animation for the logo, then a 3.3 second delay, and then the exit animation for the logo. And meanwhile, all of these circles are growing and shrinking two times. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Alright, so let's check it out on the full screen. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. Now you know how you can create this awesome video intro in PowerPoint. Thank you for watching, stay happy, stay healthy, and I will see you on my next 
video.